A good day, welcome to Martinez Design. In this tutorial, we are going to start a project called Las Vegas. So, in this project, we have five bedroom mansion to work on. So, it's a project that I've started. Someone sent a picture to me and said, Okay, I also want to make a he loved the building, I want me to make a plan for him. So, I did that. So, let me show you something like this. So, this is it. So, it's got a picture like this has forwarded to me that has create a fantastic building like this for him so i decided to work on everything detail by detail so i said okay i will bring it to the youtube for my follower to learn everything about this design so i'm creating this for everyone to follow one step after the other so follow this tutorial as i'm going to conclude and create all the landscaping and everything that surrounded it so thanks for watching so now in this tutorial I am starting, that is a five bedroom that I designed for the client, so I'm bringing it everything one after the other to places. So select the, your wall from the that particular building. So the foundation and every other thing of this uh, project browser is set. You know, if you have never watched how I created the template, you can just watch through everything from the beginning. And if you are the new, uh beginner from this that you have known this channel for the first time kindly subscribe we are doing daily basis on actual procedure designing one after the other so i'm starting the project right away so the first thing i do my initial line i'm going to draw this i'm going to take a long line so what have i done so this line is a tiny line which i'm going to change because of my template change it to normal thickness of the wall so check the thickness from here and see whether it's a standard structure or standard block work. So from here, my material is at a million, but does not matter because that says you can still come and change it. But the main thing here is that the thickness of the wall, which is 200. So I'm changing it to 225, which is 9 inches. So I'm clicking that and I will say OK. This will update itself and you allow my continuous assessment of this uh, development. So I have done the first line. So this is the back line. I'm opening the shadow so that I'll be able to concentrate on what I want to do for now. So as I have done with this, so select it create similar so that I will continue to use the same uh, parameter of the wall. So I'm creating this a a vertical wall. Close the box. Now this is the project I, I look at everything individually and dependently so that I will be able to arrive from, from the elevation before I be able to create what I want from within. So how do I start from that? Working from elevation, talking from 3D to plan is one of the hardest things to do because this is no original design by you but you are able to use it to generate what I've done the whole design finish but I'm not going to go there. So follow through as I'm doing this one after the other. So I'm going back here, so like this. So focusing on the front elevation is the first thing. So what am I doing? I'm starting somewhere here. So I will create this within recess it inside. So put it here and close. So get another stance to put it here and then leave it to the back. So what do I need to do? I have to create this side so what am i doing i'm trying to ju justify this or this glazing side the panel wall and every other thing so that i have the oss in order and centralize the whole thing and get the project right so that is what i'm trying to blend so you follow me as i'm doing it one after the other so you can you can imagine the temporary measurement that is there for you so if you are following that you should take that precision as well so now as i've done this uh, I'm going to break it down, say break. So I'm breaking this wall. Now I have to fix it like this. Good. So this place is set. So I'm fixing this up. So what did I do? I've already arrived at the front side, which is this particular one. So the curve, the aspect and everything has been done. So the layer, the grid one side, two, three, and this part i'm going to focus on that so that's what i've done one two three then the last part so to be fit to make the whole thing objectively be fitting so i need to work according to the proportion so that i'm not going to do things in the range that is not accurate so set up from here 
so if you are following us so use that temporary measurement to gain everything that you need so that you'll be able to concentrate and move on so that is it so i'm going to adjust this one to whole numbers so i'm taking this to six thousand good so set this one no wherever i supposed to even start from somewhere first so let me leave this and this one is going to be six five let me change this one to seven thousand then i'm changing this one to six thousand so i'm going to work that way so i've gotten this the front arranged properly so what else did i need to do the recess aspect for me to for it to work for me so i'm going to use check the measurements okay thousand five thousand may not be enough for me so i'm changing this one to six thousand again so press enter so now what me remain the back and i'm going to design that back i'm going to design the back i'm just going to send it so i'm going to create the entire interior partition so that the whole uh, design will be flow and accurate, accurate for me so what am i doing so this is going to serve as one one part so i'm selecting this create i'm bringing this to position so changing this aspect again selecting that manner i close it up here good so by i'm going to designate some uh, those areas i'm going to designate them individually i give them what they belong what they means so this is uh, closing this one again good so i got the partition of this place right for the kickstarting so the next thing that i'm going to set up here is that let me check the dimension is the dimensionally is it okay for what i wanted to use, so, to use it for so this is 5000 which is too big for me so i'm going to reduce it so i'm reducing this one to let's say 4005 i think it's okay that man good so the next one is that i'm going to check this so I don't want to go beyond something that are not going to be realistic. So too much of space designed the destroy the beauty of plan. So it's going to make the elevation look so much ugly because it's going to be too spread. So I'm going to do this one says six thousand five hundred. There you be. I think it's okay. Good. So this is six thousand five hundred at uh, this space. So I'm going to do this one by say click and then create something to go down in this manner. It's just a straight simple design that you can just blend it together and get it done on your own. So I have resigned and brought all those things into tier, divide them the way they're supposed to be divided. So I just create to play with some of these before I arrive at what I wanted them to to look like. So now this is the space, this is the whole programming I want for this particular building. So I will continue to break it into pieces and get it done for the fitment. Now what have I done here? So I've created this side done for this area. We track this position and then check all this space whether they are fitting or not so i'm going to adjust most of this so i'm adjusting this for a proper space programming so like i was saying so you can just use these temporary places to gather all the information down so i wanted it to be so this is just the whole length for that side it's another length for this it's another length for this so you know remember it's let and breadth that's the thing. so you have the breadth already specified so for the breadth i want it to be a whole number select this and just type 3800 let it be completed good so i hope that then you click this one change this one to 1600 let it enter good space so check this one too 
or any issue with this increase it to 1450 good so all the space are being gotten so what did i need to do is now to delegate space for everything that i have done so that every one of them will look more realistic compared to what i have here so look at the ground floor this is the ground floor style i've created look at it the sexy point this at the front side this other side and everything so i've gotten the concept of ground floor right so let me move to the design and sweep over to the reality so what i do here is that <coughs> i have to give temporary opening so that you'll be able to arrange and see how feasible how uh, those areas so are working so click there and what do you do you select from the architecture and you start picking those so the first thing is the door of the entrance to this particular position so this one is here so the second one is this one then you put this door at this entrance then the third one is this particular door to be flowing then this door at the last and this one to give you the attempt to the room so i do i've done with this i will select this and change it to where it's needed to be so for the next thing i have already arranged the whole space for everyone so i'm going to change this door because it's going to be open opening from the inside mm -hmm. so i will select this one project it at this level so the next thing i do click here and say i will break this into put into two then stick to this align do the same thing here as well so the space is getting out one after the other so here i am going to bring the door just click on select door so i'm bringing door here as well door to come here why i remove this inner door so what did i do here i'm going to break this wall into two so i'm breaking them into two now i will adjust then fix it so giving the space to the room entirely so you can just push this up a bit so that is done to select this again then bring this door to this position why you adjust this to fit of this so this area is being consistently done and so what does that mean so we have we have a plan to show for what we have been breaking so far i'm deciding uh, dividing this one into a reasonable parts which is that i'm going to adjust well i adjust this one as well this is just going to be like a lobby for me so it's like a lobby just check the distance yes it's okay Check the parameter for everyone whether they are okay they are done and whether they are okay and they are perfectly arranged so what i need to do here is that i'm going to just give a temporary annotate what do i mean i'm going to just specify what this area is going to be not all for now but the major area that i need that to be this is the functional area for the building so i'm starting with this click on annotate select the text and start one after the other so this is going to be the main living room main living room so this one is going to be for executive visitors So this place is just an ante room. Good. Then we have both kitchen and dining together. Kitchen last dining. It's going to come together here. So the next thing is one room is going to be here. Bedroom. It's another bedroom. At this junction but then the last one which is going to be bedroom as well so 
that is the way it forms and here we're going to have it as a kid kid library kids library or toys so that's where they play all their times to function and find a space for themselves to relax so this is what we have on temporary ground for this particular design the whole project is going to come up completely by giving yourself a time to develop something beautiful so this is just the temporary design for this particular project so in the next episode we are going to beautify everything from beginning to the end put a glazing where it's supposed to be find something reasonable resemblance of this because this is the project i target i created it completely so i want to use it to put it to here on for everybody to watch and start learning so if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe to this channel for the next project that is coming god bless you